सो इसमें फाइनेंशियल क्राइम एंड इन द कॉर्पोरेट एंटिटी इज इन फ्रॉड स्पेशली इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एरिया वेयर कॉर्पोरेट्स आर रियली इन्वेस्टिंग बिकॉज ऑफ वॉलरेबिलिटीज दे फेस एंड द लाइबिलिटी दे मे हैव एंड अराउंड द बिजनेस सो हाउ डू यू सी फ्रॉम ई एन वाई परस्पेक्टिव दिस पोर्टफोलियो दैट्स आई एम श्योर इट्स ग्रोइंग एंड इज इन डिमांड एट द सेम टाइम ऑटोमेशन कमिंग इन टू इट फ्रॉम ऑटोमेशन एज टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू इट right so you know there are so many processes that are being discussed as a part of the conference but i surely feel that fraud and financial crime is a very unexplored space when it comes to application of automation and there is a lot can that can be done in this area so a couple of very interesting areas where we have advised clients um, for the reduction of fraud vulnerabilities they include customer payouts so we have done a lot of investigations where we have seen that there is a lot of risk related vulnerability because of manual intensive processes in the external payouts that are being made to the customers to the vendors mm-hmm. so there are a couple of sub steps in between manual intensive processes copy pasting of files etc which make that very straight through process very very fraud prone and vulnerable mm. generally clients have been looking at it more from a reactive perspective mm-hmm. that when a problem happens then investigations happen mm-hmm. and they come out with report there is a root cause analysis but what we have started doing recently is that we have been advising our clients for tactical solutions and definitely rpa is one of them where i believe that it can come as a quick fix of course enterprise fraud monitoring is a way to go but I, there are many pockets across the entire customer and even the vendor management life cycle where a robotics can come in very handy for improvising the entire fraud risk management piece and also for a more enhanced user experience wonderful wonderful that's fantastic i think you said it right that there are so many uh, uh, repetitive steps in that process right. and they are very good candidates from an automation standpoint absolutely now uh, you also alluded to also ey also internally using some of those uh, uh, use cases so is is a, are you also uh, using it internally for any automation scenarios so uh, apart from client facing uh, opportunities think, uh, i would actually since you asked this when it comes to ey i think we are very client focused mm-hmm. and i would like to share a couple of use cases from a client perspective mm-hmm. where i believe application has been very useful mm-hmm. uh, so for one of the clients we actually automated uh, their reverse auction process mm-hmm. so there was a very heavy payout the client was giving in the refurbishment area mm-hmm. and there was a reverse auction process happening with procurement and mm-hmm. over a period of 3 to 4 years mm-hmm. the client had actually ended up doing doing nearly 14 to 15 investigations in this area because of a whistle blowing complaints and because of a lot of risk abnormalities that were getting identified mm. because here the process started with procurement then moved to finance then moved to some external channels etc mm. so as a part of that entire exercise we happen to recommend to them that just automating it precisely uh will actually not only improve the overall efficiency mm-hmm. as a very critical roi but also additionally provide a lot of value add from a fraud reduction perspective so that's one tactical area where we looked at but like i mentioned there is so much more to do in this space absolutely absolutely uh, w- one more question uh, bisman is how has been the experience of consuming automation edge right. for your clients so far uh are you is ey directly involved or you be engaged partners or directly automation edge right. that experience is also important because you're disrupting the 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 common manual process that they they are used to doing it yeah. and there is there's it could be some resistance uh because of exposure right that is already a faulty process or a fraud prone process right. so has that experience been positive uh as far as adopting the solution absolutely i think it has been very positive and uh, wherever we have recommended this i think uh, interestingly these have been the first time use cases for the clients mm-hmm. so i think the adoption comes in with a very specific context that i'm talking about yes. because it's a risk prone area mm-hmm. we're not talking about general roi based reconciliation but sure. then the value add is over and above the effort savings so i think it's the reputational risk associated with it there is time and again complaints coming that reduction so i think the roi when it comes to fraud risk and compliance is a lot larger and we all question here i think the adoption has been quite positive thank you once again ms bisman i know you have a session coming up we look forward to hearing your session also i'm sure audience is going to get enlightened by the session again welcome to automation user world and thanks for coming we take really lot of privilege to have ey at the conference thank you so much thank you thank you so much